What's it been like for you and Jennifer and the dogs like this last week with this media frenzy? It has been pretty unbelievable, to say the least. You know, CNN and CBS, Inside Edition, BBC, Al Jazeera. Why don't you start off and give us the background about how Augie came into your life? My wife and I were members of the Golden Retriever Rescue Southern Nevada, and uh, we had a request come in saying that there was a lady that had to give up her Golden Retriever. So my wife, Jennifer, drove up picked her up. And when she got back, we were uh, figured a 14 year old dog, there's not going to be a lot of people that really want to adopt a dog where you're only going to have a dog for a short time. So we started off with what they called a forever foster. But after a couple of years, when we found out it looks like she's going to be hanging out for a while here that we, uh, we went ahead and adopted her. We didn't really have a whole lot of information, as in like what kind of foods was she eating then and any environmental factors around the home or in the yard. We had very little information and we just said that it was just good genes. So in addition to genetics, we know that there are some lifestyle variables that potentially could play into dog longevity. So tell us a little bit about Augie's physical life. When we first got her, she loved to swim in the pool. So she would have been, you know, 15 or 16 probably. We have a picture of her jumping off the side of the pool to retrieve a ball out of our pool. She'd go back and forth. There was sometimes an hour, an hour and a half. I thought that was something that really attributed to her longevity was she exercised so much. On to a rich social life. What's her social life been like? Myself and my wife retired. You know, we sold our house in, in full-time RV. So we traveled all around the country and we were going to a bunch of different campgrounds. You know, you'd meet a bunch of other dogs at the dog parks they had and everything and a lot of different experiences. One of the things that marries very well with longevity is a stress-free life. How would you rate Augie when it comes to stress? She is the textbook definition of a mellow dog. There's nothing that bothers her. We'll have like fireworks or thunder and there's been nothing that spooked her. Uh, sleep is another aspect that we have found that researchers tell us is very important. Would you say that since you have rescued Augie that she's a really good sleeper? We have beds that are set up all around our bedroom there and she's usually good by the time she goes to bed. She's there, you know, until we're ready to get up in the morning. She won't move until someone else gets up and starts moving around. Obesity is like running rampant in animals. A lot of these people that we talk to, pet owners who have these long-lived pets, the owners have been pretty finicky about how much a dog eats. What's feeding time in your home look like? These dogs will eat. They'll eat anything. I was out picking some green beans yesterday, break them off and giving them to them. You know, we'll do some stuff too, where we'll get like rotisserie chicken or something like that. And she likes to eat bananas. We have a garden, had like blueberry, and all of our dogs love blueberries. All the dogs eat twice a day, and they all have a specific amount that they eat. And Augie has always been pretty thin. Good for you for helping to maintain her weight. One of the pieces that research is very, very clear on, keeping them lean is one of the best ways to extend lifespan. I just wanted to say this is inspiring to every dog lover around the world that you have a beautiful, rescued, happy, generally healthy, incredibly old golden retriever. There's so much to celebrate here and we're just so thankful that you have shared her story with us. We're happy to do it.